everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Come on, bear. Come on, Roxy. Come on. Let's jump right into this. Today, whoops, I have a collaboration that I've really been looking forward to because I'm tired of hiding this bag from you. I love this bag and I want to get it out and use it again. I have a collaboration with Winnie B. LV and Yota Style. I will have both of their channels linked below. And as soon as I can, I will post their video links, their collab video links below. If you have been keeping up with my Vlogmas, you may remember that I revealed this bag the other day. This is a Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size. It has this crossbody strap and the color is taupe. And I tell you what, I got that bag and it's, like I said in that video, it's basically the perfect bag. Like, do I really need any other handbags in my life? Because this is perfect. Of course the answer is yes, I do. So I bought uh, two more and I'm gonna show one of those to you today. And I told Winnie and Yota about this bag and they each bought one but the ones that we're gonna show you today are not the sort of basic nylon one. They are all three different and all three very special. Longshop does the nylon ones. This is like the base model. It's about $200. It's fantastic. It's actually of the three small, extra small bags that I have now, that's probably still my favorite as far as day-to-day -day usage. The other two I got are more special and wouldn't be everyday bags. Although maybe they would, I don't know. We're gonna see. I haven't had them long enough yet to try. I'm gonna show you one of the very special extra small bags that I got today. Winnie and Yota will each show you another very special bag that are different from mine and from each other's. And then tomorrow I will reveal my third one. And they're all spectacular, so please be sure to watch them. I want to say too, the other night I went to TJ Maxx. I forgot to take my camera in, as you might have seen in that video, but there were quite a few Longchamp bags in that TJ Maxx. And if you're in Houston, this is the TJ Maxx by the Galleria on Richmond. I don't know how many of them would still be there. That store tends to have the Le Pliage totes, sometimes backpacks, sometimes duffels. They had all of those this time and they had a few of these as well. I, I know I saw the black leather one, which retails for $3.30 and they had it for like $2.26. And all the regular Le Pliage totes are around $100, $110, something like that. So if you're in Houston and you like Longchamp totes, check them out on a regular basis. If you're not in Houston and you have a TJ Maxx near you, check them out or perhaps Marshalls. I have linked in the description box other places to get Longchamp bags and then you can get good discounts on them. All right, enough talking time to show you the bag, right? Are you ready? Because this is really special. Winnie and Yota can attest that I wasn't sure whether I should purchase this bag because it's very seasonal and it's an interesting material and I just had some concerns about it, but it was also something that I knew would sell out quickly. I was saying earlier, Longchamp has the basic nylon bags. They also have like basic leather ones and then they have a bunch of special ones. Just wanna get that in there. Anyway, I decided to buy this bag knowing that I could send it back if I decided I didn't like it or that I wouldn't use it or whatever. I mean, I fell in love with it immediately. Here it is. Look at the strap on this thing. It says Longchamp. It's in greens. One of the things that I noticed about this bag and a few other bags is sometimes the greens will look more brown or tan. So if you're looking for a specific bag and especially if you can't return it, be sure to check a few different websites for the color or check to see if there are YouTube videos on them. This bag, I'm gonna try to hide my head behind it here. It's the Longchamp Le Pliage Extra Small Size, and it is in the material Boucle, B-O-U-C-L-E. Here's a little close up of it. I can't quite tell if that's in focus, so I hope it is. Okay, so it's winter and I've been into shearling. Shearling is everywhere, but I haven't wanted to pay a bunch of money for a shearling bag because it's seasonal and you're not gonna carry it very often. But then I got this bag and fell in love with it. And then I saw this bag and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. Cause it's similar to shearling. It has that kind of fluffy look, but then it also has the greens that are my color. I really love the trim on this. It's a mock crocodile. It's in dark green with sort of light green highlights and then that strap. It has gold hardware. Here's the little zipper pull. It's adorable. Hold on, I have to remember to do thumbnails. I keep forgetting to do this. Yeah, it is the same size. 
as the other one. A couple concerns I had about this bag as far as wear on it. Being the boucle, I was wondering about color transfer, wondering about lint, wondering about how that material would do over time. So of course I don't know how it'll do over time because I haven't had it that long yet, but so far it's holding up pretty well. The tote bag had a small like card size pocket here. This bag does not have that, but it does have the slip pocket on the back that the tote bag had. Otherwise, it's just a big open space in there. Oh, I just noticed something. This is nice. It has has that tag inside, and it says Longchamp Paris made in France. Let's see what this one says. This one is made in Tunisia. I hope the working conditions are good there. First impressions of this bag, besides thinking it was gorgeous, were that the strap here was kind of uncomfortable, is a little stiff. And also this strap is not adjustable, which is a little annoying. Of course you can change it out because you can take the strap off, it's removable. One difference between this bag and the other one, besides the obvious differences, but one about the construction of the bag, is you have the D-rings to attach the strap hidden behind the two little handles. Whereas on the nylon bag, the rings are on these little tabs at the end and they're in grommets like that. That's actually a little bit annoying to take the strap on and off because it doesn't quite clear the little leather bit there that you have to go over, but not really a big deal. So I've had this bag for a few weeks now. I've carried it several times. This will be my bag of the day today. And I can say the back where it's rubbed up against me when I'm wearing it has held up pretty well so far. I do see a little bit of lint back there. I haven't had lint anywhere else on the bag, the top or bottom or sides or anything. I have been very careful with where I put it down. And I've also worn it against sweaters. I've been wearing sweaters a lot lately, and I think that is where the lint is coming in. But it's really done well. Also, when you go to pull off a little piece of lint, it seems to be stuck to the boucle, so you end up pulling some of that off. So I would say be careful. This bag, as far as I know, is sold out, so I don't know where to tell you to get it, but I can just tell you it's the Longchamp Le Pliage Extra Small Boucle, and you could try searching for that, see if you find anything. I'll try searching too. If I find anything, I'll put it in the description box below. I have forgotten to put a necklace on today. I will have to do that before I leave for work. Is there anything else I wanted to say this morning? Yes, tomorrow's video. Mark your calendars. Is it tomorrow's video? I'm so confused with the Vlogmas time warp. Today's Friday, this video goes up Saturday. So you'll see it on Saturday, which means tomorrow's video would be Sunday. See what I mean? Today's Friday and I'm calling it tomorrow's video, but it's two days away. Saturday's video, and Saturday's when I'm filming the thing that, you're talk that I'm talking about that you'll be excited about. So yes, tomorrow's video, which will come out on Sunday, I have a surprise in store for you. It's going to be quite fabulous. In fact, it just might be quite fan dabby dozy if you catch my drift. All right, let's do advent calendars. I've also been pre-filming in the evening, so you'll see several pre-film autumns, and I'm doing that again to save time because by the time I get home, if I film something, I don't then have time to edit it. And like last night, I finally filmed making the pasta and the marinara sauce, and that takes hours to do because the marinara sauce has to simmer for a couple hours. No time after that to edit. So you'll see that on a different day. It turned out well, by the way. In fact, Paul told me that it was the best pasta dish I'd ever made. I didn't agree with that, but he was genuine about it. So if you wanna be like Paul, stay tuned for that video as well and learn how to make Paul's favorite pasta dish. Okay, really this time, advent calendars. Just kidding, one more thing. Gwenny of Styled by Gwenny did a video vlogmas video where she and her husband tasted Marmite versus Vegemite. Apparently this has become a big thing in our little YouTube group. So Gwenny and Dale each tasted theirs separately. Gwenny Marmite in England, Dale Vegemite in Australia. I bought them both, tasted them, gave my verdict. Gwenny and Mark responded to that. Mark had a very, very funny, I was cracking up watching it, response directly to me about my choice. Uh, spoiler alert, he was not happy. It was hilarious though, you have to go watch that. And now Winnie has also done the taste test. She's not doing Vlogmas, but she did a video tasting them and her husband too. And that was an interesting result as well. So I will link all of these videos below. I think Yota is gonna try to do it at some point, but we know how Yota is. Good luck getting her to do anything she says she's gonna do. She's been talking about the Chanel mirror she's gonna give away. When? When? She, she's just gonna talk about it and it's never gonna happen. Because of you guys, she thinks she's the queen of Vlogmas. No, she's really just a drama queen. All right, 
advent calendars. Let's start with the kindness calendar today, shall we? Hello, Baron. Roxy's over there in the dog bed. All right, I think we're on day 11. Ooh, it has donuts on it. What kind of wonderful surprise is this? Well, hello, Roxy. She suddenly got closer when the advent calendars came out. When Stella suddenly wasn't seen behind the counter at Donut City in California, one of the regulars asked Stella's husband, John, about it. He told her that Stella was ill and that he always visited her at the hospital after selling his daily batch of donuts. The customer rallied the neighborhood to visit his shop in the morning, and for months, John could close the shop several hours earlier than normal and go see his wife. And Stella, she recovered and is now back behind the counter. I remember hearing that story in the news. Mission 21, speaking of donuts, bring some to share with your coworkers or fellow students at work or school. If donuts aren't your thing, a big basket of sweets or a fruit basket works too. Mission 22, pick up someone else's tab. This could mean paying for someone else's coffee, meal, groceries, bus ride, parking, or anything else you can think of. I'm going to have to think about that. Hmm. Both of those are possible. They're easy enough to do, but I don't know yet which one I would actually want to do. The taking food to work thing and leaving it open for people to put their grubby hands in is a little questionable with COVID. And then paying someone else's tab. I don't really go out with people except Paul and this one other friend of mine. And we do that anyway. So, hmm, I'll have to figure that one out. Okay, we just got tapped maple yesterday. I don't like maple. I gave yesterday's to Paul. I'll try this one though later, reluctantly. Planning to make a roast soon. This will be perfect with that. Maybe even with the prime rib for Christmas. We shall see. There's finally a honey. I've been waiting for this day. I'm getting really tired of the malt scotch whiskeys. I want more variety in this advent calendar. By the way, if I haven't told you this thing with shipping and everything was almost $200. So I'm feeling pretty disappointed with it at this point. Still hoping it will get better. Are you two ready? It is time. Oh, yeah, someone is very ready. I'm back at that same shopping center where the TJ Maxx is, so I thought I would take you in there. I just shipped more packages to Yota and Winnie, more Christmas gifts. I'm spoiling them this year. Winnie deserves it. Yota, I'm not so sure about. All right, let's see what bags they've got. Oh my God, matching human and animal socks. We've been sitting at these red lights forever. I think there is an accident up ahead perhaps.
just figured out what to do for that kindness advent calendar mission for today, the one about picking up somebody else's tab. Like I said, I go out with the same people all the time. We pick up each other's tab, so that's really not going to work. What I can do instead is pick up the tab for one of you for some delicious hot chocolate. Leave a comment below using the word chocolate in a sentence. There is only one way to spell chocolate, right? I will put that spelling on the screen just to be clear. In two days, I will draw a winner and I will buy the chocolate and have William Sonoma send it directly to you. I just checked and it looks like they do only send to the United States. So I'm sorry for those of you who are outside of the country, but I do have more giveaways coming for you. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, maybe. You'll see what I'm talking about.